I decided this month to experiment with making this uh, this Q&A for June of 2018 uh, to make it as much like actually attending a book signing as possible, except I hope slightly better uh, because when you ask a question, you don't have to deal with my gentle mockery and everyone looking at you while you ask, wondering what the heck you mean. Um, and uh, in return, I get the benefit of cheating and looking at the questions beforehand. Um, but, but all for your benefit. I, uh, I bullet pointed some things I wanted to say so I wouldn't leave anything out, uh, but I didn't fully write out my responses. So I hope this uh, is a little more casual and uh, personal. Uh, but I had, I had a revelation while I was uh, preparing for this video, and it happened while I was, was reading this book. So I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to be uh, referring to this book a, a number of times probably today. Boy, I'm really terrible at even doing this. Um, Turning Pro uh, by Stephen Pressfield, and, and he also has a, a book that I think is actually even better, uh, but it's on my Kindle, uh, called The War of Art. Uh, it's excellent for, um, both of those are, are excellent for anyone who's, who's a creative. Um, so I, I had this revelation while I was thinking about doing this Q&A, and it was, it, it was not much of a revelation, uh, you, you might think. I thought, uh, I'm not very good at doing this, like, what is this YouTube thing, this, uh, uh, this gaming streamer thing, except there's no game to watch. And, and I don't like being bad at stuff. Um, and Stephen Pressfield talks about, um, about turning pro. He talks about what it is to be a pro and, and what it is to, to focus your energies on something and not get distracted by everything else you could possibly do. I realized then, the, the revelation was this, that I'm a pro at writing, um, you know, by his term, uh, if, if, if not by yours, um, <clears throat> by his definition of the term. Um, that is, I overcome a lot of resistance to write. I, I do this well. I, uh, I hone my craft, I put in my hours, I'm, I'm doing the things I need to do to be as good at po as possible at writing. But I'm not a pro at streaming. <laughs> I'm, not a, I, I'm not a pro at broadcast journalism. Um, and I have to be okay with that. Um, that's okay. So I'm, not, I'm gonna try to not judge myself by the standards of, of the guys and, and, and women who are best at doing this but instead just say, look, I'm here to chat with you. I hope it's, uh, it's worth your time. And with that, let's, let's hop into the Q&A. Um, Jeremy J. Fagan says, uh, so if I'm not mistaken, you'll be doing a Q&A based off the comments here, so here's my question. I want to be a writer, and the biggest problem I have is finishing. What is your writing process? How do you build the world? And how do you outline so you can keep track of everything, making it uh, so seamlessly come together in the end? Where do scenes that are both beautiful and story important come from? I feel like I'm asking my parents about where babies come from. Well, Jeremy, when a writer and the muse really love each other, they get together, and Daddy and Mommy do things that will shock you. Uh, did, <laughs> did I say I wasn't going to mock you? Sorry. I'm a liar. Um, finishing. Check, uh, check the Ira Glass uh, link below, which I'll try to remember to put below, about the gap. He talks about uh, when you're first starting out, how you have good taste, but the stuff that you write doesn't live up to what your taste is. That gap is super important, but it's really hard to get across because your, your inner critic comes out a lot. Let me tell you this, though. Um, finishing isn't an important thing to do when you're first writing stories. It's the only thing. Finishing is an important thing. It's the only thing. But if you are a writer, you will never get that monkey off your back until you do finish. Um, look, now, now, normal people don't really care if they ever write a novel. 
Some of them might toy with the idea of it for a few weeks. It sounds glamorous. They saw a Hollywood movie, the tortured genius, whatever. But after a few weeks, they'll move on to something else. They don't agonize over it. Uh, but if you're a writer, if you're a creative and you have a thing you love, you will never, never feel fulfilled until you reach that page where you can write the end. That's different than saying uh, you'll be happy as you get there or even afterwards, um, but you won't feel fulfilled, you won't feel purposeful until you do the thing. Um, now, everyone who is a writer knows that when you write the end, it's not actually the end because there's still lots to do. Uh, there's <laughs> a ridiculous amount to do after you write the end. But it is an end. It is super important and it's emotionally important to you. It, it gives you the fuel to go on. It, it gives you the fuel to say, I am a writer. This is what I do. Um, if you're wondering if, if you're a writer, if you're, if you're wondering if you're a painter and, and it keeps bothering you, you probably are. Um, so Stephen Pressfield uh, talks about this, the, the, the challenges to, um, uh, to, to, to finishing that, um, to, to finishing, to sitting down every day, to working on it. Uh, he he uh, talks about that in those books, uh, The War of Art and Turning Pro. He personifies what you're hitting as resistance. Um, and talks about resistance being tricky. Resistance will have you checking your email every half hour. You know, what do you think is there? <laughs> what email are you waiting for? You're, uh, you're distracting yourself. You're, you're checking Facebook because you don't want to do the thing. And you can spend years doing that and you can really self-destruct in some really creative and wonderful ways. Um, but if you really want to write, you need to figure out how to reach the end. And mostly that involves working just working every day. Uh, it doesn't have to be great. In fact, it's okay if it's not great. It's probably not going to be great. Um, just get there. And then sometimes after you reach the end, it's only after you finish that first draft. Yep, sorry, you're, you're not done yet, Kerouac. Um, it's only after you reach that last page that you realize what the whole book wanted to be about. And so if you never reach that last page, you'll never figure it out. And, and you'll wonder why it wandered here and there and everywhere. Um, when you write that ending, it, it clarifies all sorts of things. Uh, Michael Spafford says, uh, can we have a Nine Kings tie-in game, please? And Cody Shaver um, also says, uh, any chance of a real-life version of Nine Kings being released at some point in the future? Preferably physical, but uh, mobile would be all right. Um, maybe is, is, is the answer. Soon, no. Um, there's a big difference I've seen uh, between recognizing a great game, you know, your, your Settlers, uh, Carcassonne, uh, Pandemic Legacy is one I've played recently. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this game called Gloomhaven. Um, those are all the sides. Uh, there's a difference between recognizing a great game, knowing a great game, being a great gamer even, sadly, I'm not that great of a gamer, um, and making a great game. It's like you can watch a great movie. You, you, you can't sit down and, and just make one. Even if somebody wrote you the check for $100 million, you could go out and, and you would make a very mediocre movie. Um, it requires the same kind of dedication that writing a novel does to make a great game. And for me, I've decided to focus on my novels. That's, that's my main thing. I, I love games. But I don't want to take a year or five years to figure out how to be a game designer uh, and to be able to make my own games. At the same time, I don't want to, write, I don't, I don't want to uh, license my games out to somebody who makes a terrible game. So someday I hope there will be a really sweet, uh, perfect storm where I get to work, um, you know, tangentially, uh, w work a little bit, but not too much, not enough to distract me, um, with a super talented, uh, skilled game designer uh, who has the budget and who can do it well. Uh, but that day isn't yet, and I'm not going hunting for that right now because it's taking all my focus just to hit even the you know, late deadlines that I have. Uh, I, I try to keep the main thing the main thing, and this is one of the ways I do that. So someday, I hope, 
not anytime super soon.